You know what would be really cool is, as a creator, when YouTube sends all of these notifications out to your subscribers, YouTube actually told you how many people clicked on those notifications? Yeah, yeah, just like that. VidIQ. VidIQ. VidIQ.com. We will begin where we always do, on the YouTube front page, click on your profile image and then go to the new YouTube studio. Next, click on the video tab down the left hand side to go to the video manager screen. When you mouse over a video, you will see some icons. Click on the graph icon to go to the analytics for that particular video. On this screen, click the Reach tab at the top, and then halfway down the screen, you should see the following analytics panel labeled Bell Notifications Sent. To run through what those numbers mean, Bell Notifications is the number of subscribers on your channel that have switched on all notifications. This represents about 7% of our audience, and the percentage is how many of those subscribers got the notification for this video. Of course, after 24 hours or so, you would expect this to be 100%, because if it isn't, well then YouTube is broken. Again. Now, a notification click-through rate is the crucial analytic we're all interested in here. It represents the number of subscribers who actually clicked on the notification to watch the actual video. As YouTube states, typical CTR on notifications is between half a percent and two and a half percent, and on this occasion, our video is pretty much in the middle of that benchmark. And finally, we get all of those percentages converted into raw viewing figures. And here's what I'd like you to do now. Go and find one of your most popular videos on your channel and take a look at the notification click-through rate analytics and post them in the comments below. Hello, I'm Rob and welcome to vidIQ, the YouTube tool and channel that aims to educate you on your YouTube journey. For all of the latest YouTube tips, tricks and advice, make sure to subscribe to vidIQ. And since we are talking about bell notifications, make sure you do this on our channel so that you're the first to be notified when we release brand new content. As always, school is already in session. The notification click-through rate analytic is an extension of data that we were introduced to as creators last year when YouTube showed us our subscriber bell notification numbers. You can access that by going to channel analytics and then clicking on the audience tab at the top of the screen and scrolling down to subscriber bell notifications. As you might expect, we did a full tutorial on that data at the time, so you can check it out over on this video. And as a little bit of a suggestion to YouTube, what I'd love to see here is the notification click-through rate for your entire channel over the last 28 days. Oh, and I'd also like to add it as a metric in the advanced analytics for individual videos too, thank you very much. Now, for me, these analytics have been somewhat of an eye-opener. 475,000 subscribers, 35,000 plus of those who have clicked on the notification bell, and yet that generates 500 views. Doesn't really seem worth it, does it? I think, as with all analytics, you have to try and put it into the context of your channel as a whole. Those first 500 views are valuable for the first couple of hours of a video's launch to get the velocity on your content going. However, through our experience with the vidIQ channel, that being an educational channel, we know that we're gonna get the majority of our views over the long term from browse and search. For other channels where the storytelling and the personality is perhaps far more important to the channel itself, then you would maybe expect a higher click-through rate on notifications. But remember, it's still at a benchmark level relatively low, 2.5% at the top end. So, as I always say, take these analytics from a few videos, benchmark them, let's say your average notification click-through rate is 1%, and aim to improve that to 1.2% or 1.4% over the next three to six months. Now, I'll leave you with this question. Given those analytics, how important do you think subscribers are to your channel? Let us know in the comments below, and while you're typing out that comment, make sure to check out our other beginner's guide videos over here. And if you want to learn more about vidIQ, which gives you all sorts of extra analytical data to help grow your channel, we've got the beginner's guide down there. Thank you very much for watching, and enjoy the rest of your video making day.